We're about 20 minutes north of Knoxville, about 60 miles north of the visitor center for Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We actually went like six years ago. Oh, I like her nails here's cut. Yoda. Her nails are crazy. Her nails are long. For those of you that have inquired, she's still doing about the same. Not yeah. much better, but not worse. So we're only like 10 days away from having to leave the van with the shipper. A little less than four weeks away from having to get on the plane. Things are looking a little tricky right now with whether or not she's gonna make it to Europe with us. So we'll see. Anyways, we spent the night at Walmart last night just outside of Knoxville here. And uh, this morning we're gonna take off and hopefully spend the day in the park. So yesterday afternoon we left Louisville. We left our friend's place that we stayed at for about... Eight. <laughs> Serious? More than a week? Because we got there I think on a Sunday and we left on a Monday. Yeah, we just decided that we had to go. We took care of a lot of problems that she had and also we were able to kind of wait out to see if Yoda was gonna, you know, be more stable. When we left Kansas to go to Louisville, we really didn't know what was gonna happen. The vet in Kansas said, spend the weekend with her, see how she does and maybe it's time to say goodbye. And that was like a week ago. We had to go because now we have 10 days before the shipping company has to inspect the vehicle and take the vehicle into the yard. And then we'll be officially without a vehicle and without a place to sleep in Baltimore. So we'll have the next 10 days to kind of roam around and do a little exploring before we have to be in Baltimore and then figure out a lot of little details like do we rent a car? Because we'll have about two weeks from, actually have about two and a half weeks from when we leave the van with the shipper and when we get on the plane so in those days, we got to either like find people to stay with, rent a car, or take Uber, Lyft, or you know we haven't figured any of that stuff out yet. We've got backpacks. We still got to figure out what we're gonna carry with us, what we're gonna leave in the van, and also a way to kind of figure out how we secure all like the little things that we're gonna leave in the van as the car goes. We've heard conflicting stories about whether or not you could leave stuff just out or if you gotta pack it away. When people ship from like South America to the US or, or Central to South America, for example, there's a lot of like theft on those boats. Especially when you do what we're doing, which is called row row. I mean, it stands for roll on, roll off. And when you're not in a container, you have to give these people your keys and they have access to all your stuff. They're not like, I don't think like robbing you. They're just people that work at the docks, work on the boats. They have access to your car. If they see something valuable, they're gonna grab it. So we're gonna try to secure as much of that stuff as we can under the bed and lock it up somehow. And then whatever we carry with us are things that we're gonna need for the next two and a half weeks. We have to be able to carry it all onto the plane with us. And if Yoda gets better and she progresses well, we can take her with us, we get a health certificate. We gotta carry all her food and litter somehow and all that stuff. So we still have to figure all that stuff out. We'll probably have to buy some like semi-disposable luggage because we don't have room to have luggage in here, but we'll need luggage to carry onto the plane with us and live out of that those suitcases for a couple weeks. We'll figure all that stuff out in due time. For now, we're heading over to Smoky Mountain National Park. We've been there before, a long time ago. Uh, I don't think Luca was even born yet and the girls were definitely too young to do the badges, so we're gonna go get their badges today. We're sort of packed up, right? Yeah, but I need to change my clothes and I'm ready. Thank you. 
Or you can just buy them. <laughs> they just... For five bucks, you just buy the badge? Interesting. There's like a whole Junior Ranger section. This is this is the second one that we've been to where you have to pay for the book. Yeah, but it's where they had the free version. Yeah, the free version you just have to do more. More activities, but it's like less... Like you learn zero, less but stuff, but I'm assuming that they think that you'll learn more stuff by attending more of these ranger talks. If you're not going to do as many ranger talks, you do this one, and you still get the badge. Yeah. You want to do this? Yeah. Or do they have one for, I guess Luca would just do the seven. Yeah. Okay. They're so cute. Opossums. The real possums. Ugly little dead possums. There's water snakes here. Mama, it's a water snake. That's a huge hog. Look at it. He has, he has, he has a big teeth above and below. Life hack. I life hack. He's a life hack. I, I try to draw the recreation of them. Good job. Okay, let's go back out and we'll do your other pages. Hey, Daddy. Yeah. Okay, Lizzie, see that tall branch? It kind of looks like a slingshot holder. Yeah. It's just so mushy. Mm -hmm. Things that live in the water. And so, before we get started... I think it's a normal otter. You think it's a normal <laughs> otter? <laughs> and, and it is, in fact, a river otter. So thank you for everyone for guessing. We have a few people. So if you've been to Cape Cove, then you may have seen the creek running through it, known as Abrams Creek. And then this is where they, yes. Okay, so you on the otters, and right in their neck area, they put the GPS tracker there. So they were able to track their movements, but the otters were able to stay safe. And now if you're feeling fun, you can add some fun feet movement, move your hands, you can throw in a little bit of your own moves. Creativity. All right, good job. What you just did is called the otter poopy dance. When they're doing the otter poopy dance, just like we all did. So you all are just like Otter Staff. And pencils to return. We borrowed pencils. Yeah. Did you all, uh, did you all do a program? Make a right. With the ranger? Yeah, which one did you guys do? Do you remember? Did you do the horse talk? With the otters? Okay, yeah. Did they have skins that you play with or touched and all that? You had those? Okay, awesome. I like that. So, is this you guys' first time here at the Smoky? I don't remember, it was six years ago. Oh, okay. And how old are you guys? Eleven and six. Are you guys all brothers and sisters? Very cool. So this is an official ceremony we are about to have. Well, congratulations. Can I get a round of applause, guys? Because we have our newest junior ranger. the highest point that we're gonna be here at the Great Smoky National Park because off just up here there's a turnout it's like a one-way road seven miles in seven miles out that takes you to Klingman's Dome which is the highest point in the park it's 6640 something feet which isn't that tall compared to the west but it is the highest point in the Great Smokies it looks like we're not gonna have super great visibility, so I don't know if it's worth it. We pulled over here just to check it out from this vantage point, which looks pretty awesome. This is what this place is known for. So from here, we're gonna head down to, we're about to cross into North Carolina, and tonight we're gonna probably end up in Asheville, North Carolina spend at least one night, maybe two there, and then uh, continue on and see where we end up from, uh, from there. Oh, 
shove it in her face. And she's like, no problem. Did they just give her one at a time, maybe? Alright, just pack it up and keep driving.